I'm Quinn Connell and I edited the title sequence for the World Athletic Championships Oregon 2022. Today I'm going to show you how I made all the athletes glow. This dazzling and 80s inspired effect is created entirely in Adobe After Effects with no plugins. Let's break this down. I started with the base shot of the athlete. It helps if most or all of their body is clearly visible. I used the excellent tool Runway ML to rotoscope the athlete in just a couple minutes. I highly recommend this website for its sheer speed and accuracy. Also, it's free for 720p exports. So I bring the 720p export back into After Effects, allowing you to use key light to chroma key out the background color. Here's something important to note. The way chroma keying works isn't by deleting the green pixels as often thought, but rather by finding all pixels with similar RGB values and reducing their alpha value to zero. This is the opacity value. It's also how PNG images work. Now I have this matte where black is pixels with no alpha visibility, and I can make use of another After Effects tool, the track matte. This takes the alpha values of one clip and uses them to cut out the same pixels in another clip. Since my matte is only 720p, but the project files are 1080p, I can apply the matte layer's alpha values to a copy of the 1080p layer to get a 1080p clip with the background removed. Now that I have the original clip, a cutout mat right on top, we can make more copies of the mat and apply fun effects to them. To make the glow, I use three primary effects that I dialed in for each shot. I start with Gaussian Blur, which widens the border and blurs the inside colors. Then I apply Tint, which creates sort of a duotone look. Tint grabs all the pixels that are closer to black and maps them to a new color, and does the same with white. Along with Gaussian, I can bring out some very interesting orbs of color that can then be intensified by our main effect, Glow. Glow has many parameters to play around with to bring out some very interesting bloom effects, but for the purposes of this project, I found that these work the best. This turns the already cool looking matte into something absolutely spectacular. Now we have a base layer, a matte layer, and a glow layer. It looks fine, but thinking about this as an actual light source in the scene, it would probably be way brighter and larger in heat than it currently looks. So I make a copy of the glow layer with way more Gaussian and add some directional blur and offset to it. This is closer, but it's still not selling the pure light and heat that would be radiating off of this if it was actually bright in the scene. It would be peaking. I'm going to turn the blending mode to add, which looks at each layer's pixel color values and does a math operation to combine their values somehow. In this case, adding them together to make it brighter. This works reasonably well with one glow, but when both glow layers are feeding off of each other, you get this really bright, high contrast glow that looks great in the shot. And that's how I made the glow effect for the World Championships Oregon 2022. You can check out my channel to see other behind the scenes videos on this awesome project. Thanks for watching. Peace.